Alright guys, so we're heading to go check the trap line today. As you can tell, we got some snow last night. Uh, they're calling for, we're supposed to get two to four inches and then they moved it up to four to six inches. Uh, right now we probably got two inches on the ground. So it's supposed to snow all day. Right now it's like that icy snow, that real crunchy icy snow. But uh, yeah, my brother's going with me on the trap line today, so I'm headed to pick him up and hopefully we got something with the snow moving in I would imagine there was some critters moving last night so hopefully we got us a coyote or something but uh, just stick with us and we'll get back to you on the line Got us a coon. Well guys, uh, as you can tell, it's been snowing here quite a bit. We got about two inches on the ground right now, but uh, got us a raccoon here that's, I'd say he's been here a little bit. Uh, he's pretty muddy and he's got a pretty good circle worked up here. So this is the raccoon we got today. Not a real big one, but he's really, really wet and muddy. So, he's pretty calm. So we're going to go ahead and take care of this one and get the dog proof reset and go check the rest of our traps. I have a coyote. You here. not smell that? Oh, I smell it. Oh, yeah. I mean, that kind of stings the nostrils. It smells great. Nothing on the coyote set. Nothing on the bobcat set. That's where I had the bobcat yesterday. Alright guys, so we got us another skunk here, right there. Uh, this one was already sprayed, we could smell it. We've been smelling it and I've been trying to figure it out. I knew there was a skunk somewhere, but I didn't know it was one I trapped, but yeah. There it is, uh, we're gonna get a little closer maybe, but we're gonna give her an old lung shot and dispatch it and then I'll show you guys. Well, <laughs> uh, we had a mishap with the skunk here. Uh, it sprayed before we got here because you could smell it. And then uh, it definitely sprayed just now. It's very strong. Uh, my brother, he said he's out. <laughs> my brother didn't want anything to do with it. As you can tell... I'm a bait maker though, so I smell it all the time. I don't mind it. This one you can taste a little bit though. So, you know when you can taste it, it's it's pretty stout. <laughs> uh, but sometimes you just, sometimes things don't just go the way you want them to. And this one uh, sprayed all over himself. Not really out in the air, he sprayed on the ground. And then rolled in it. So that's what we're gonna do with that one. I have I think one bobcat set, three coyote sets, and two dog proofs. I haven't caught anything here in a while. I caught those two coons here, and that's all I've caught. And this is where Jeff was seeing. He said he's seen a lot of his the coyotes here. I'm going to park here so I can see if there's any tracks. Alright guys, so I'm not sure why, but if there's ever time to feel stupid, I feel stupid right now. Kind of made like a rookie mistake. So, we drove through here to check our traps earlier in the bobcat set that I cut the bobcat in yesterday. It's just back here behind us. Oh, about 60, 70 yards. So I don't know if I was focused on that too much when we came in or the coyote set beside it, but... We drove through here and my brother's like, man, I smell skunk. He's like, did one of your lures or something break? I was like, no, not that I know of. And then I got to where I could smell it and I was like, man, I don't know what that is. Well, I know what it is now. I'm going to show you guys. So on our way out here, uh, I seen something move and I was like, whoa, what is that? He says, is that a skunk? Yep, that's a skunk. I don't know how... 
we missed this one he must have been up under the snow or something but as you can tell you can see our tire tracks and where he's laying I don't know how we missed it when we came through the first time but there's skunk it's our second skunk of the day so we're gonna get out and see how bad this one is and remake the set all right guys so here's the skunk up close got a lot of brown in it uh, in my opinion it's not really a pretty one but I don't know much about skunks but this one definitely sprayed as you can see right there in the snow and all over the trap so I don't I'm not gonna reset this one because there's no way to really get the smell off that trap without just letting it sit for a long time so yeah uh, I don't think we're gonna reset this one today because there's no way to get the smell off the trap since he sprayed directly on it uh, and you know with it being like that that trap's gonna get dug up every time instead of the bait hole or something they're gonna be all over that trap so yeah uh we're gonna take the skunk with us but definitely not going to get any essence out of this one because he just sprayed it all over my trap so we're gonna let this one set uh we got a lot of snow on the ground so it's gonna be super muddy so i'm it might be probably try on monday to try to fix this when we get it reset but we caught one coon and two skunks so far we still got about nine of my dog proofs to check over here but this was a skunk in the 650 the new duke 650 so it'll work on skunk too <laughs> so but yeah we're gonna go ahead and load this one up and then we're gonna go check the rest of our dog proofs all right guys so we're back here at the uh first skunk that we caught should have been the second one we came to but i guess we weren't paying well i wasn't paying good enough attention but uh we caught this one in a dog proof so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys uh this one was just some i had uh, dog food and some persimmon coon syrup that i put on top of it so but i'm gonna just go ahead and show you guys this one we're gonna pull it out and then we'll be done for the day i done checked the rest of the trap so we ended with one coon and two skunks so that's our day but i'll show you guys this one real quick so this is the skunk we got this one's got a whole lot more black into it again i don't know much about skunks or their value so this is the third one i've caught this year so yeah caught this one no dog proof but yeah that's what our day was so there's our skunk we're gonna our second one this like i said this one it's got a whole lot of black in it there's not even very much white in its tail so i don't know what's more valuable the black or the white i'm not sure but my brother's taking care of this one for me today he enjoys the skunks oh, yeah. it's his favorite but uh yeah we're done for the day got us a one coon and two skunks so we're gonna go home and uh, I'm gonna have to wash these ones off before I skin them because they're pretty stout. So I'll show you guys how we are gonna do that. Uh, I'd watched a couple videos a couple months ago about how about how to do that. So uh, I'll go ahead and add to this one the video of doing that. So when you when you see us again, we'll be back at the house doing that. We're gonna rebate this dog proof real quick and then head on out. Alright guys, so we didn't get the uh, skunks done. Uh, I was planning on getting them washed and skinned and doing a video about that, but it didn't happen. We kind of ran out of time. So I got back this afternoon, had too much to do, and now it's about dark. So it's about 5.30, so it'll be dark here in about 20, 30 minutes. So we're going to have to do the skunks tomorrow. Uh, but again, I want to thank you guys for watching the video. I uh, hope you guys got something from it. Wasn't a whole lot going on. We caught two skunks and a raccoon, so... But anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to our channel so you can get uh, keep track of our videos as we bring them along as our season goes. We only got about two, a little over two weeks left of our Missouri season here. And then I'm going to be getting a lot of my trap prep done for next year. And then we'll be starting to get ready for conventions and whatnot. So yeah, go ahead and subscribe to our channel to watch out for those videos. And thanks for watching.